Hey, man, I just got a new Neve R6 500 series rack. Let's open it up. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Wavy Wayne from wavywayne.com. And if you are new to the place, I just want you to know that this channel is all about helping you to record and mix better and faster. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now and let's get into the video. Right here in this box, man, is a special package I just got from Sweetwater. Shout out to Sweetwater for always delivering super fast and on time, man. I can't say it enough. I just, free shipping, always right on point and you get free candy, man. You know I'm a Sweetwater affiliate too, so go ahead and hit the link down below in the description and shop my favorite Sweetwater gear. But let's go ahead and get this box opened up, man. If you checked me out on a couple of the videos, I had already purchased a 500 series rack. It's actually sitting right here, the API lunchbox. And I'm gonna probably keep that one too. Um, but what I discovered on it, um, you know, and I, I should have kind of did my homework a little better, is that it'll be a lot easier for me to work with uh, this module because it has a lot more options for inputs and outputs um, and routing on the back of it. So that's why I went on ahead and got this one too. And plus, you know, I got the Neve 8816, so I'm thinking like Neve everything, Neve everything. <laughs> so who we got in the box? We got our Neve, I mean, your little sweet water, thank you. Uh, you know, that's cool. <laughs> All right, we got the six space 500 series rack. This is probably some type of a uh, manual or something like that. Uh -huh, kind of explains everything, but we'll we'll get through that, man. And it actually has it's six rack spaces, but you can even um, has it has eight channels of total I/O, which is really dope, super flexible unit. We'll look at that, man, because I know y'all just want to get right to the the good stuff. Got my power cable over here, and nothing over there. It's packaged up perfectly. Nothing touching the sides. Got a little empty spot over there. Let me see. Yeah, that's empty. That's empty. So we're going to go ahead and lift this rack right up out of the box. And it wouldn't be Sweetwater if we ain't had no candy. Hey, Sweetwater, man, y'all getting kind of skeet with the candy. I don't know if the pandemic is hitting y'all or something, but it used to be more candy than this, man. So, uh... I'm going to need to talk to somebody in the candy department to see what's up. <laughs> All right. Nothing else there. Here is that Neve R6. Man. I like that it has feet on the on the sides too, so that if I wanted to stand it up uh, vertically, I could do that as well as horizontally. Let's see, hopefully y'all can see that good on there. So yeah, man, this is my six slot Neve rack here. Um, it basically, let me see, this don't have the, the screws. Did it, did, it, did, it, did it come with screws? Nope, nope. Oh, they do have some screws. Here's the screws. Got to make sure I don't lose those. I'll probably just put them all in to the actual device itself. All right, so let's just take a look at the front of the device, man. It actually has a power button. The API lunchbox doesn't have any power switch, so as soon as you kind of uh, plug it in and you send power to it, it comes on all the time, even if I'm not using it. I'm not a super huge fan of that uh, because I'm... I'm not using it all the time, and so I want it to be powered off if I'm not using it to kind of save the gear and, and save the, the box itself. Um, it also has a, a little indicator to show you how much power is being drawn, and it'll step up the power based on how many uh, units you have connected here and how you're using them. So how much power each of the units are actually drawn, it'll step up all the power that you need. And this unit actually has 150% of the required power that you would need to actually power this. So more than enough for anything that you're gonna be doing. They do recommend that if you're using any unshielded, uncased uh, modules that you don't place them directly next to the power supply, but the power supply on this is double shielded. 
Now let's turn to the back. This is where all the magic is really at. On the back of this unit, you can see that we have our inputs and on the inputs, we have balanced XLR inputs for channels one through six, as well as balanced TRS inputs and the same for the outputs. We even have D sub or DB25 connectors that we can use for the inputs and outputs as well, which just makes this super, super versatile. Another dope thing about it is that this back using these, uh, these inputs and outputs can actually be set up like a patch bay. So for example, if I had a, um, let's say I had a preamp here, I can come out of the, the preamp into a compressor, come out of the compressor into an EQ and, and so forth and so on, right? And then come out of here into my recording device, my interface or whatever, man. So you can actually set up your own chains right here on the actual unit. Super versatile is going to make working so much easier and quicker, especially if you have like a routing chain that you use all the time, you can just set that up. Now over here on this left side of the unit, it has inputs uh, and outputs for channel seven and eight. That's going to be to actually route signals in and out of your audio interface or mixer if you have that connected. Um, I don't see how I'm going to use these particularly right now, but I'll probably find a use and I'm just happy that they actually included that in. Super dope. I mean, actually, you could like patch from here to here and then, you know, patch, maybe do a whole vocal chain or whatever. Um, kind of chain you're going to be using and then patch them directly into these stereo outputs and take these out and go right into your interface. That could be another method that you choose to use. So, um, yeah, they also have, well, I had to buy them separately, but I bought the rack ears so I can mount this into my actual rack that I'm about to be getting on my new desk that's coming up soon. Um, I could have got the rack ears for the API lunchbox too. Um, but I think I'm going to be putting this one off into the rack and probably using it a whole lot more, especially with all the versatile components that it has. All right, Todd, that's been a quick look at the Rupert Neve Designs R6 500 series uh, rack module, all right? Um, chassis, I should say. <laughs> I'm Wavy Wayne from wavywayne.com. Check out the website, wavywayne.com, if you want to grab one of my recording and mixing templates that'll help you record and mix better and faster. Thanks for watching this video. Be dope. Thank you.